I'm near Jane and Weston, where Toronto police say a male youth was shot in a drive-by shooting Friday evening. It's one of four shootings across the city over the past week, and it has advocates highlighting the need to address the root causes of gun violence, particularly with young people. Look, we need to look at the fact of um, sustainable income, um, poverty, and also trauma that these young people have been dealing with. Even if we have them locked up, sooner or later they have to come back out into our community. The call comes as police report a spike in shootings. As of March 10th, TPS says there have been 82 shootings and firearm discharges this year. That's up nearly double from the same period in 2023. We've also had seven deaths and 23 injuries, but those numbers have gone up in the past week thanks to a shooting on Monday in Etobicoke that injured one man, a daylight triple shooting on Tuesday that left two people dead and a third injured in Regent Park, followed by a firearm discharge at the Queensway and Ellis Avenue just hours later. Then, the Friday afternoon drive-by that left a male youth with non-life-threatening injuries at Denison Road West and Lippincott Street West. Residents that, here like, say they've noticed a spike in violence. Yeah, just... uh, this whole situation is a bit shocking, but, you know, we had the shooting just a couple weeks ago off the street there at, uh, on, uh, by the arena there. So it's just curious to see how often it's starting to happen now. Uh, much more than it used to be. We asked the city how it's addressing gun violence, and a spokesperson pointed to the city's 10-year community safety and well-being plan dubbed SAFE-TO, saying in a statement in part, one of the actions of the SAFE-TO implementation plan is the establishment of a Toronto office to prevent violence through engagement with partners and the community to enhance the coordination of gun violence prevention and intervention efforts. But Richard Miller, founder of nonprofit Keep Six, says the city doesn't fully grasp what's going on in the community or what grassroots organizations like his are doing. We need to, number one, um, having the resources that is able to keep these, these organizations as doing the work sustainable. Um, it's not there. We have to look at really fixing these young people invest into the mental health part of it, invest it into their um, work, employment, and invest into schools and so forth like that. Be able to allow these individuals to grow, but overcome whatever trauma that they've occurred. Unfortunately, our government is looking at other solutions or invest in money, like in, I think it was $1 billion in policing and so forth. Premier Doug Ford, meantime, has invested in building more jails, saying he's not worried about the criminals. In York, Michelle Mackey, City News.